Our Father, who art in heaven. Yeah? Shh. Don't interrupt me. I have praying. But you called me. Call you. I didn't call you. I have praying. Our Father, art in heaven. There. You did it again. Did what? You called me. You said, Our Father, who art in heaven. Here I am. What's on your mind? But I didn't mean anything by it. I was, you know, <coughs> saying my prayer for the day. I always say the Lord's prayer. It makes me feel good. Kind of like getting my duty done. All right. Go on. Hallowed be thy name. Hold it. What do you mean by that, Laura? By what? By hallowed be thy name. It means... It means... Good grief! I don't know what it means. How should I know? It's a part of the prayer. By the way, what does it mean? It means... Honored, holy, wonderful. That makes sense. I never thought about what Halloween meant before. Anyway, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that, Laura? Sure. Why not? <laughs> what are you doing about it? Doing? Nothing I guess. You know what? I just think it would be kind of neat if you control everything down here like you have there. Have I got control of you, Laura? Well, I got a turn. That's not what I asked you, Laura. What about your bad temper? You really got a problem there, you know. And then, there's the way you spend your money all on yourself. And what about the kind of books you read? Stop picking on me. I am just as good. Some of those people are down to church. Excuse me. I thought you were praying for my will to be done. If that is to happen, it will have to start with the ones who are praying for it, like you, for example. Oh, all right. I guess I do have some hang-ups now that you mention it. I probably could name a few. So could I. I have a thought. Much about it. Until now. But I really would like to cut off some of the things. I want to be free, Lord. Good. Now we are getting somewhere. We'll work together, you and I. Some victories can be truly won, Laura. I'm proud of you. Look, Lord, I need to finish up here. <coughs> this is taking a lot Just hold longer it like this. than it usually does. Give us this day our daily bread. You need to cut off the bread, Laura. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? <coughs> Criticizing me every time. Here I am, doing my religious duty, and all of a sudden, you break in on me and remind me of all my hang ups. Growing is a dangerous thing, Laura. You could wind up changed by it, you know. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. You called me and here I am. It's too late to stop now. Keep praying. I'm interested in the next part of your prayer. Well, go on. I'm scared, Lord. Scared? Of what? I know what you said. Try me and see. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What about Alice? See, knew it. I knew you would bring her up. Why, Lord, 
she told lies about me, spread stories about my family. She never pay back the debt. She owes me, Lord. She owes me. I have sworn to get even with her. What about your prayer, Laura? <laughs> I didn't mean it. Well, at least you're honest. But it's not much fun carrying that load of bitterness around inside, is it? No. <coughs> but I feel better as soon as I get even. Boy, have I got some plan for that neighbor? She'll wish she had never entered the neighborhood. You won't feel any better, Laura. You'll feel worse. Revenge is not sweet. Think of how unhappy you already are. But I can change all that. You can? How? Forgive Alice. Then I'll forgive you. Then the hate and sin will be Alice's problem and not yours. You will have settled your heart, Laura. Lord, and more than I want to see Alice. I want to ride with you, Lord. All right, I forgive her. <coughs> Help her, Lord, to find the right soul in life. She's so miserable, Lord. Wonderful. I'm happy for you, Laura. What does? Christmas mean to you, Laura? Christmas? I'm really busy at Christmas. I need to bake a cake, make some cookies, some goodies, and yes, I need to buy myself some clothes, some perfume. Oh yes, I forgot. I need to buy some jewelry. Christmas is not about you, Laura. It's about my son, Jesus. He needs to be the center of Christmas. He needs to be the center of your life, Laura. I don't understand, Lord. Let's go and watch this program. The aspirants of the Sons of Divine Providence are presenting today the message of surrendering to Christ will be crystal clear to you, Laura. Sure, I will be there. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid. For you have found favor with God. You will be retired. You will be birthed to your son. And you ought to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son, the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of Most High will overshadow you. So, the Holy One to be born will be called Son of Most High. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. For nothing is impossible with God. I 
and the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. Can this really be? Will all that the angel told me come true? My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For He has been mindful of the humble state of His servant. From now, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. Oh, my God. 
what Ambon songs. I would like to take the opportunity to quote Prophet Isaiah. The one with a lot esteem is he who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at his word. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. <laughs> when the world was sleeping, these shepherds were vigilant. Their eyes were opened. Here of the eyes and the lust of the flesh and the pride of your life in his endeavor to kill the Christ. He killed innocent children. However, even he, with all his power, could not stop the plan of God. He will perfect. God is unstoppable. He will perfect that which concerns you. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let us receive a king. The play now culminates in the nativity scene. The world made flesh. Thank you. 